Hello everyone, I would like to use this formula for my new year video. But in this tutorial, we are going to show that the sum of cubic natural numbers from 1 down to n can be expressed using this formula n times n plus 1 divided by 2 whole raised to the power of 2. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Let's get started. Um, to do that, we're going to begin with a number raised to the power of 4. This represents a certain number. Minus another number which is 1 less than this number. A number which is 1 less than this number would be n minus 1. Also to the power of 4. So, how can we simplify this? I would like to expand this first. So this remain n to the power of 4 minus, I think we can break this into two. I know the expansion, but I would like to show you everything. We can write it as n, sorry, this is x, n minus 1 to the power of 2, multiplied by another n minus 1 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as n minus 1 to the power of 4, right? This is equal to n to the power of 4 minus, let's expand this. If you expand this, the first term squared, that is n squared, minus 2 times n times 1, that is 2n. Uh, the negative 1 squared is positive 1. The same thing, you're going to get this one. We have n to the power of 2 minus 2n plus 1. The next, I would like to take this and multiply by this 3 times, take this distribution, right? So we can write it as um, n to the power of 4 minus the whole of this. You take n squared, you multiply by n squared, that will give us n to the power of 4. n squared times negative 2n will give us negative 2n to the power of 3. n squared times 1 will give us n squared. We are done with the first term. Take the second term, negative 2n times n, that is negative 2n to the power of 3. Negative, negative, positive, 2n times 2n is 4n squared. Negative 2n times 1 is negative 2n. Then lastly, 1 times the whole of this will not change them. We have n squared minus 2n plus 1. All right, so let us collect the like terms. We have n to the power of 4 minus... We only have n to the power of 4 here, but thus with the power of 3, I think we have 1, 2. That is negative 4 n to the power of 3. Negative 4 n to the power of 3. Then thus with power of 2, we have 1. We have 4 here, making 5. We have another one here, making 6. So plus 6 n squared. And then does with power of 1, I think we have 1 here, we have another one here. Negative 2, negative 2 is negative 4, so this is negative 4n. Then lastly, we have our constant 1. Next, let us open this bracket. This minus sign is going to affect every single term. So we have n to the power of 4 minus n to the power of 4, right? So this becomes positive 4n to the power of 3. This becomes negative 6n squared. This becomes positive 4n. And this becomes negative 1. All right? This and this are exactly the same, so they will cancel. So what do we have? We have only 4n cubed minus 6n squared plus 4n minus 1. Remember, this is the expansion of n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 to the power of 4. So this is the expansion. What are we going to do next? We're going to keep on adding series of this. This is n, which is an unknown number. We would like to find out the expansion of a number before, which is less than n by 1. So we are going to replace n with n 
minus 1. Because we are reducing that, we're going to keep on reducing n till we get to 1. So let me wipe here and do that. We have that n to the power of 4 minus n minus 1 to the power of 4 is equal to 4 n to the power of 30 minus 6 n squared plus 4 n then minus 1. I know I can simply write this directly because I know it. But I just wanted to show you the step by steps. So next, if we should replace n with a number before n, which is n minus 1, we have n minus 1 to the power of 4. Minus, this will be, a number before this will be n minus 2. n minus 2 to the power of 4. This is equal to 4 of n minus 1 to the power of 30 minus 6n minus 1 to the power of 2 plus 4n minus 1, then minus 1. So we have just, I think let's add one more step. The next number will be n minus 2. n minus 2 to the power of 4 minus, this will be n minus 3 to the power of 4, equal to 4 of this n minus 2. We are reducing by 1, minus 6 n minus 2 to the power of 2 plus 4 n minus 2 then minus 1. So this is how we are going to keep on reducing these numbers till we get to where? Till we get to 1 to the power of 4. Then minus, this will be 0 because this is always 1 less than this. 0 to the power of 4 equal to, this is what I mean, then this one will be 4 times what? 1 to the power of 30 minus 6, 1 to the power of 2 plus 4, 1, right? Then minus 1. So, we have series here which we are going to add together. We're going to add all of them together. But one thing you should observe is, if you add all of the left-hand side, forget about the right-hand side first. Let's start with the left-hand side. Can you see that we have negative n minus 1 to the power of 4, but this is positive n minus 1 to the power of 4. As you add, this will cancel this. This will cancel this. This one will cancel the next term here, because the next term here will be n minus 3 to the power of 4. This is negative, this will be positive. You keep on coming down here, you know, a number before 0 here will be 1 to the power of 4, which is supposed to be negative. It will cancel this one. So if you add all of this, you only have n to the power of 4 here, n to the power of 4, equal to, just observe, all of this time that we would like to add have a factor of 4. So we have 4 here. So we are adding 1 to the power of 3 plus 2 to the power of 3 plus 4 to the power of 3 after to n to the power of 3. So this is a summation of what? Cubic natural numbers from 1 down to n, exactly like this one. So it will be summation of, let me call it k, to the power of 3 from 1 down to n. Yes, we are adding cubic numbers but they have a multiple of 4, which is already here. Minus, all of this contains 6, right? 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared. So we are adding what? Series of square of natural numbers, right? From 1 down to n, k squared. When k is 1, we have this one. That is 1 squared. When k is 2, we have 2 squared. Have to, when k is n, we have n squared, which is right here. Then plus, all of this contains 4. So we are adding 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 up to n. This are our series of only natural numbers from 1 to n. Minus, we are adding 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is just series of a constant 1. Series of a constant 1 from 1 to n. 
So let me wipe the top and continue from where we stop. Because if you watch my previous lessons, I've shown you how to drive k squared, k and a constant. So I'm just going to replace them. And this is exactly what we are looking for. All right. So this is n to the power of 4, n to the power of 4, equal to 4 multiplied by the summation of cubic numbers from 1 down to n, then minus 6 times the summation of perfect square numbers, 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared. We have this already. If you want to watch it, I will drop the link in the uh, description below. It is the same thing as n multiplied by n plus 1, multiplied by 2n plus 1, divide by 6. Yes, this is 4 perfect squared. Then plus 4, multiplied by sum of natural numbers, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4. Uh, it is the same thing as n multiplied by n plus 1. I have the video, I think it, it is together with this one, uh, divide by 2, then minus, all right, summation of 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 will be n, because you have n number of these ones you are adding, something like this. All right, from here you can see that this and this will cancel, right? And um, this one will go in here exactly two times. So let me expand this. You know this minus is still there. So this minus what? Minus n times n, because I would like to expand this first. Minus n times n is what? Minus n squared. Oh, should, let, me, let me leave it outside. n times n is n squared, n times one is n. Then we have 2n plus 1, right? This is k cubed, 1 to n times 4. All right. And here we have 2 as a factor left times n will give us 2n. Then that 2n times n will give us 2n squared. Then 2n times 1 will be just 2n. Don't forget we have minus n. Let me expand this one. Um, let me take the minus inside. So this will become minus, this will become minus, this will be plus because the minus is already inside. So this time this will give us minus 2n to the power of 30. Minus n squared times 1 is minus n squared. Minus n times this is minus 2n squared. Minus n times 1 is minus n. Then we have plus 2n squared plus 2n, then minus 1. Uh, remember, this is k to the power of 3, summation from 1 to n, something like this. So let's see, do we have like times here? Uh, I think we do. Um, this, this, and this are all like terms. So this is, I think this and this will cancel because this is minus 2n squared, this is plus 2n squared. So we only have this left, right? No, sorry, this is minus n, sorry. This minus n plus 2n minus n will cancel because minus n minus n is minus 2n, then plus 2n will give us zero. So what do we have? I think one, two, three, four, five are gone. We only have these two terms. I remember we are looking for this one. So let's take this two to the left. Um, we have four times summation of k to the power of three from one to n equal to n to the power of four, which is this one. As this crosses over, it becomes positive. Uh, 2n to the power of 3. As this crosses over, it becomes positive as well. All right. Then I think we have a common factor of n to the power of 2 here. So n to the power of 2 outside. Inside, this becomes n to the power of 2. This becomes 2n. 
this becomes one, right? Because if you distribute, you have to get this back. And this is nothing but a perfect squared quadratic expression because half of two is one and one squared is one. So this is the same thing as n to the power of two multiplied by n plus half of two is one whole squared. Yes. So what do we do next? Remember, this is what? Four times the summation of k to the power of 3 from 1 to n. This is what we are looking for. So we can divide both sides by 4. Yes, our main target is to obtain this formula. So if you divide both sides by 4, you have the summation of k to the power of 3 from 1 down to n to be equal to n squared multiplied by n plus 1 all squared divide by 4 right if you divide both sides by 4 but I know that 4 is the same thing as 2 squared so you can see that this this and this all have a power of 2 so we can group them and assign them a single power so finally the summation of k to the power of 3 from 1 down to n is equal to n multiplied by n plus 1 uh, divided by 2 whole to the power of 2. And hence, we have just shown that this can be expressed as this. What does it mean? It means that if you ask to find this one, you know the expression will be if k is 1, we have 1 cubed. When k is 2, we have 2 cubes, 3 cubes. 4 cube up to n cube. So instead of you keep on adding this, 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 if you know n, maybe you want to stop at 10, so it will be up to 10 to the power of 3. So instead, just take that 10, plug it here, it will be 10 times 10 plus 1, this is 11 times 10, which is 110, divide by 2, then you raise it to the power of 2, it will give you the expansion. So I'm going to use this formula tomorrow for my new year video where I'm going to evaluate the summation of k cubes to some certain number. I will not tell you now. Thank you for watching. Do share to your and colleagues. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.